Alright. Good afternoon, everybody. Ugh. Let's get this going. Uh, let's take the music off and stick you on that. And there we go. Hey, Lewis, how are we doing? So, we're going to be trying some uh, Stanley Parable. This came out um, the other day. You'll see that everything's repeated here as well, which is kind of cool. Hey Jolly, how are you doing today as well? And yeah, Lewis, I'm not doing too bad. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. So let's see what this is all about. Um, we'll mess with the audio once we get in, so if it's too loud, I apologise, but we'll see. Loading screens. The end is never. The end is never. The end is loading. Never. Here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. <laughs> Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly this job, and Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say, Hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk oh. and stepped out of his office. Okay. Um. Time's it. 20, pretty much 25 past 11. That's a, that's a nice picture. Can we jump? I guess we'll just do what the narrator says. You're very sort of glidey. <laughs> All of his co workers were gone. Nope. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Mouse is really weird as well. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Let's turn that off. I think we'll play through it normally and then we'll play through it again. And again and again. Because there's multiple endings as far as I know. What's that say? Can't read that. Uh, yeah, I've seen some of the achievements. Um, I'll show you some now. <laughs> eight, 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 eight. That one I've seen be done. Um, but it's not as easy as it says it is. And then it's like, this is an achievement, commitment, <laughs> play Stanley, parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday. Um, one I did like is that one. Don't play with Stanley Parable for five years. <laughs> it is impossible to get this achievement. Complete the Stanley Parable in under four minutes, 22 seconds. But yeah. 
We'll carry on. I hate Mondays. Some very weird rooms. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Do I or don't I? Shall I do this one following exactly what he says and then do the opposite maybe next time or something? Um Don't. <laughs> so go right. Uh, it's 50-50. Yeah, let's just go for the left. We'll follow what he says this time around. I'm sure he probably will lead to the same place anyway. Knowing this game and the demo. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. You move my desk. Get Chris out of the broom closet. <laughs> uh. How do you jump? Space doesn't work. Maybe you can't jump. What's this one say? Uh, work hard, a hard worker. Teenagers size demographic. Space between the teenagers. Someone's alarms going off. Fun. It's all graphs and stuff. Okay, you don't jump. Broom closet. Where's Chris? You must save Chris. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing was here, so he turned around and got back on track. The audio skipped a bit then. I want to find Chris. Where is he? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No it's not empty. There's loads of things. There's, there's, there's not a mop, though. There's a broom. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's I find Chris. standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> sweet F.A. <laughs> that broom is really small. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Standing around doing nothing? Yes. Why? Because I can. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Um, it's cozy. I don't know. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? Yes. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. But, but Chris is meant to be here. Uh, what, Lewis? I'm trying not to spoil anything. If, if it is a spoiler. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom <laughs> closet ending was my favourite. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really <laughs> He probably only got the Holy crap, why is there so many alarms going off? Stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Um, I'm expecting that to happen here then, Lewis, because it's really well, sunny now, like where I am. About what's going on right now. You're dead. Oh god. I've got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical malady of some sort shut down your central <laughs> nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Oh when god, this is awesome. This, 
The responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hey Daniel, Hello. how are we doing? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. <laughs> or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I guess that's it for this broom closet then. But we got the broom closet ending, apparently. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee Tired you again. That sucks. Do any worse than the person who came. All <laughs> <laughs> right. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his okay. boss's office. We'll follow what the the narrator says now. I think. Ooh, fancy. Why can't I shut the door? Executive bathroom. It's creepy when doors shut behind you. It really is. I wanted to read that green form, but apparently I can't. Business time, I think that says. I can't really read upside down. Oh, you can kind of see through there. Slightly, if I can get my. He walks too far. There you go, you can see through there. Anyway, uh, boss's office, I'm guessing. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. <laughs> but of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. What? Oh, then... What? 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Where? <laughs> stepped into the newly opened passageway. Where? Oh, there. I didn't even know it's that. It's a bit windy. Or noisy, or whatever you want to call it. Sounds like generators. It's really dark down there. I'm sorry if it's dark for you guys, it's pitch black for me, so... Apparently there's nothing down there though. Um, I don't like this. There's a, there's a gap there. Oh crap. Well, this isn't a bit freaky, is it? Okay, loading. We're making progress. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. It's very eerie. Again, sorry if it's a bit dark. It's it's meant to be dark though. So it Stanley doesn't like you missing much. Through the large door that read mind <laughs> oh really? Um Mind control or escape. I think we'll just follow the narrator's thing through this one. I can always play through it again. Hey Elf, how are we doing? It's 
So what are the numbers I think they are? They look like numbers. And nothing else but a button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. <laughs> we have the strength to find out. Yeah, not bad off. Um we haven't really got any water either, surprisingly enough. Well we have water but like there's not a lot of pressure in the pipes, if you know what I mean. So that sucks. Uh, employee obs observation, observative protocol. I don't know. Observation protocol. Okay. Guess we'll hit the big button. Now the oh jumped God! To life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. I think that one's dead, because it's got loads of red writing over it. That one's dead. That one's dead over there. Some of these are the same. Oh, yeah, but, because there's 574 there in the middle of the screen, and there's 574 there. Okay, so it isn't one monitor for everyone. It's quite bright. I don't like these buttons, they're very, very strange. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Fired. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was there um, any reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? It makes sense. Um, I could do. Give us a sec. Um, Connected. You were moved. There we go. That should be. Yeah. And go back in. Right. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Is that walkable? Okay. I couldn't even see before. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. Oh, fine. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Hmm. Uh, why can't I push the power switch? I can make sounds with these buttons though, which is kind of cool. I'm guessing we're going into the thingy facility. I wasn't really listening. Yeah. Facility power. Five. I expect you know, like a bomb to go off when I press one of these buttons. Mind control. Mind controls idle awaiting input. Okay. Some command line sort of stuff here. Can't read that though. Don't know. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. So turn it off. 
I'm guessing. Electric shock risk. Um, I think those are five in a demo. Chill of uncertainty. Yeah, Jolly. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to... This looks like a big monitor. ...but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. More open door? Well, that's a monitor. Shall we? Okay, it's not. Felt the cool breeze upon his skin. Then what a weird the place for that sort of factory. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Complete the game! <laughs> Okay, so this puts you back at the start. So all of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We're gonna try and get an achievement here. By clicking on this five times. Oh please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay. 12, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks. 50 clicks. Let's go. Almost certainly 50 clicks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. My finger hurts. I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for okay. valiant effort. I want to see okay. some hustle, Stanley. Cool. Commitment. I want to see commitment. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All the way, let's go. no matter what the cost. Let's go. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 417. 417. Why the hell is 417? 417. 417. Oh. Great. Now, go click a few times four, three, on four. door 437. 437, that's what I meant, not 434. Where's that? 437. Four, Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, four, door 15. 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415, 415. Where's 415? 416, 415. Now, back to door number 437. Come on. Where was... 437. That was here, wasn't it? Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know. The Go. All right. Back to room 417. I'm really oh, feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Come on. Okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419. How do you climb? Oh. I pressed the wrong button. How, how do you. How do you climb? 
you can't jump. Um, <laughs> okay. Yes, oh, there we go. It's a little box. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. That was this way. We've almost got it. Copy Another machine. Copy machine. Do that one again. Uh, where was the copy machine? Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on... Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. Yay! Achievement. Oh, amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing Ooh. could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed in a... <laughs> ...that was worth five little clicks. Hey, are we the gaming? I'm thinking. <laughs> right, so we're going to try and play through this doing the opposite of what he says. Maybe. So. It's when we get through here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So this was not right. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Employee lounge. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Ha! Okay, we drunk it enough. What's that? Cough. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Yeah. Really worth it. Very. Very worth it. There's just, like, mugs everywhere. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on credit <laughs> and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Thanks. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Possibly. I'm not the nicest person. You gonna say anything more, Ro? Stanley sat around okay. waiting for more dialogue. But when <laughs> the time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. I'm actually gonna wait for one more. I think it could be lying to me. Okay, let's go. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room, and took <laughs> the first open door on his left to get back to business. First open door. So we're not going to go that way. We're going to skip this door. And go in here. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay. So these are all just blueprints and stuff. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. What? But... What if I'm lying about don't lie? Then... My head hurts. Do not jump from the cargo with while it is in motion. We'll cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off a cargo lift, $5,000. But you won't be able to pay that penalty if you were dead. Um, can I climb onto them? No. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust to trust someone else can be difficult, oh. but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? 
I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, yes, we can't go that way. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Um, no. Danger. Danger everywhere. Okay, seems legit. Paint. Just in case you couldn't tell. Fragile. So... Warning, do not stand on this side of the fence. Okay. But I'm already on... Never mind. Um. Hey, there! There, uh, papers, please! Well, wanted criminals, access permits. This is papers, please. I'm trying to do it slowly. I'm trying to listen to the whole narrative. That's actually papers, please stuff. That's really cool. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, so it's not walk through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the no. red door. Um. I think we're <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. We do. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. Uh, I have no so idea. Badly, what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. It's gonna be death. You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished this, this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken Something rooms, like exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. <laughs> what would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we ah. go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead Seeing of where light. we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. <laughs> Um, but then I'll be following his... I don't want to follow his things. But should I follow his things at this point? I don't know. Well, that's a left. That was to the bosses. Uh, that was to the meeting room. Let's go this way again. Okay, so this just takes us into that room anyway. So it looks like maybe they all just went into there. I can't turn around, so... Okay. Please read your experience. Okay to stop you now, uh. tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Okay. Feel free to be honest. I'm okay. looking for some real critical feedback here. But what's the highest? Is one the highest or is five the highest? So shall we just go with three because it's in the middle? One's the highest. I don't know because if, if he says if I click five is the highest. Let's go with one. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express <laughs> itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Okay. Let's take a look. Yeah. 
Wow. There's no one on it. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Wow, that is awesome. These are actually legit people. Okay. I don't think these are legit people now. To get through the crack door. <laughs> wow. Why not ask some friends for help? Error friends with his empty. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um so let's go through this way. Okay, so this takes me to the same place as well. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. Okay. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Is it Perfect. papers, please? Let me boot it up. Ah! Game, creepy baby! Left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. Kill the baby. Meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly complaining. That's a really creepy baby. Life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't okay. you give it four hours of play to make okay. sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Kill a baby. You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies? Yes. Surely to spite me. Um, both. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Okay, <laughs> since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <clears throat> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Minecraft! Well, Stanley, is this any better? <laughs> At last, the one thing you've always desired. This is Alpha. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stan. But I can't jump. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. What I can't man? jump. I'm going to build a house. Okay. Where? <laughs> will go here okay it's a wheat building here. skills and then it's much better than me let's see what does it need I uh, yes of course and just to finish it all off yes <laughs> a door it's complete I made the standing look at it gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. But I, I, I don't want to listen to you. But I have nowhere else to go. I saw it. Isn't it grand? Yes. Isn't it perfect? Yes. It could only be better if... Wait. That's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Yes. Diamond... Let's go mining. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Where did he... Oh, this way. I don't know where we're going because I can't jump. Ah, cave. Oh my, my god. It looks like it's going to get a bit Hey Fred. Have you brought a light? Uh no. Have you? Oh, it's dark. If anyone's joining now, this is like this is Minecraft. Oh no 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 no. This 
is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. I heard an enderman. Makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. <laughs> How are we doing, Fred, anyway? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, oh. trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. This is weird. Button. It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stan. Your forte. Yeah. Genius. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. No. I really don't All right, to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser. Um, semi-parable alpha test. I think I broke it. I was looking for cake. Please rate your experience. Um, oops, I fell. Now where the hell am I? Oh god, I'm so lost. Oh my god. <laughs> um I can't see a thing. Ooh, light. Let's head towards the light. Wait, that's some sort of art development. Hey, Ima, how are we doing? Uh, this is the Stanley Parable demo. <laughs> uh, not the demo, the Stanley Parable. The full game. What the hell is this? Music. That's music. And that's some sort of video editing. I must admit, I don't know what the hell is going on right now. Um, I couldn't tell you. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. <laughs> Someone who will wrap everything up at the end, to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. What? Yeah, that was the best ending so far, but... There might have been more. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. It's, I'm... I don't know. When Stanley came to a set of okay, two open doors... Okay, so we'll go this way again. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No, the game restarts itself because yes. you found an angel, an ending. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. So, 
Damn, it was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. So uh, we'll go this way again. Perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. We've got to wait for it to go up. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, so we'll go through the blue ones again. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stan All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Okay, so we get into the developer's bit. There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me, you've given me absolutely nothing so far. Yeah, the proper way was really short. Sure. Dark and a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. Okay, we're going to try going this way now. Leaps ahead of where we were before. You know this. Okay. okay. I'm going to stop you there now. Tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really There's just too many choices. I felt it so you can't feet. really find all the endings. Can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Okay. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Hey, Ben. Let's take a look. Okay. So now where do we go? Go this way. Okay, this way it takes now, us to the same you place. Say that competitive leaderboard yes. Helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors. Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on. Okay, this looks like it's just going to be the same. So we'll restart and try and go through the red door when we get to that point. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I want to know how many endings there are. A work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. That goes to the business room, I'm guessing. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. So we'll go here and improve the red door. I realize that investing your trust in someone Maybe. else can be difficult, but the fact is that the store. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let okay. me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Right, now let's walk through the red door. Through the red door. Okay, we haven't That's been this way yet. God, you are willing to listen to me. Where's and this sandals? I really have wanted you to be happy all this time. The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running. Wait, That's what? what you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just, what? I wanted to stop. 
I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. Stop. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Ah, door. Um... That looks like death. Okay. I just want to say thanks to everyone who's stopping by today. Apparently I have uh, 22 people here, which is amazing. So thanks for stopping by, guys. Well, that's what my viewer can't say, and it could be wrong. Wow. If we just stay right here, right in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> so yeah, thanks to everyone who's who's sticking with me whilst I'm playing this. Really appreciate it. No, wait. Where are you going? <laughs> Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. How do I die on stairs? I'm, I'm not going to even ask that, actually, because I will end up dying. So. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Do I have to kill myself? No! Ow! Ankles. Thank God you lived. No, no, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? I don't think Stanley, I can kill myself. Let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for my God? Is this really how much you deserve <laughs> the game? You'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Let's try and go back then. Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. So this looks like an ending. Maybe. I have no other choice than to stay in that room and do nothing. Or kill myself somehow. The thing is, I can't jump. If I could jump, I could get more damage when off the stairs. I can just fall off. So, but I got an achievement for not being able to jump. Is it over? There we go. It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. No. Right. So. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was <laughs> a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Right, now we're gonna go right and then the first left. Two open door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Um, we can do a bit of the main path Standing in a bit, I'm up, room, after Stanley this one. The first time understood, but We've heard all that. To business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Right, where's this take us? We haven't and been so this he way. Detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. So that's the business room, so we want to go this way. But yeah, I'll do that, because it only takes, like... Five minutes, maybe the main path, which is really weird because all these other paths take like twenty minutes ish. Well, not twenty minutes, but you know what I mean. There's more content. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go um from here. It's um left. 
I'm gonna go right. I can't go right. I can only go left. Oh no. no ah. That's to the right my mistake. But now I wanna go left. No, 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 <laughs> right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> The narrative in this game is awesome. Uh, let's see, we went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely yeah, definitely. That, that's what we're gonna do, Jolly. Um cause so you'll see most of the main path I'm on, but Yeah. Um, is there any other way to go? Let's just check these doors. I'm just trying to find as many different alternate endings as possible because that's what this game is all about really okay so that's no, bringing us no, here no 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 this isn't right at all you're not supposed to be here yet this is all a spoiler quick Stanley close your eyes okay 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 we just we just have to get back to um oh. this is part of the main path if everyone if anyone missed it nah, the whole story completely unusable how about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. Okay. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Right, so that was another ending. Is someone keeping count of these endings? <laughs> I've lost count. Were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Right. So now we go in the main path and then the escape when Stanley oh wait wait what wait what no I, no i restarted i swear i definitely restarted the game over completely fresh everything should be oh did something change stanley did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors um did you move the story somewhere or uh, hold on i don't know am i asking you i'm the one who wrote the story. yeah you're the one who wrote it, it was right here just a minute ago I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then, it's an adventure. Oh, uh, come, Stanley. Let's find. There's it. too many choices. <laughs> um, that looks familiar. That doesn't. Them two look familiar, and that doesn't. That one really doesn't. But we can't go that way. Yeah, we can't jump over chairs for some reason. But that one looks like it might join up to that door. Oh god. Right, this takes us behind the chairs. Oh god. I'm so lost right now. So this is technically behind the chairs. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you Everyone there's definitely you Dory here before. Do we just do we need to restart the game again? Well I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's gotta be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Oh right god, now. this is just in circles. So that was another ending. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, missed a memo. We we know that. Now there's no doors. Okay. Oh, so <laughs> my head hurts. <laughs> it's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction? Other direction. See if we missed anything. No, there's nowhere else to go, is there? No. Back this way. Back this way. That's all the same as it was. That's the same as it was. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. But now I'm just going around. Oh, wait, what? Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay. What? Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. <laughs> Is this the story? I don't think so. I don't know. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. Yeah. Is that correct? Um... Do you remember, I Stan? don't know. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Yeah! Congratulations! 
I know you put in a lot of hard work and it really paid off, so good job. Seems like this is the best ending. Or no, that one feel was. Right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. I put in so a lot of work. Win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. The footsteps are too okay. loud. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to risk. No. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> Eventually. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Okay, so follow the line. Wait, we've never gone that way. What? We've never been this way. Yeah, trademark. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. <laughs> I like how it the goes around. Thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving what? forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Okay. Now we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Yeah. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Hang on. That got a bit weird. Yeah, there. it did. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I <laughs> know what <we laughs> this line is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this game is crazy. What is this game? One for your edges. Wait, cut the music. Go right back and look at that fern. Okay. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Really? Make sure you study it closely. And remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Let's carry on. Wait, but we're back at the office? No. no. Wait, we are. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Okay. Um, oh, we're back oh, here. No. Again, line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, yeah. after everything we've been through, you... No, oh, I can't take this anymore, to hell with it. Restart. <laughs> that was a good ending. Oh, it's not an ending, because it's still the line. Oh, what? You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Okay. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, yeah. This all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? This direction. Okay. Let's go this way. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. Oh. What want our story to be? Going in a square. Wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, oh. I'm ready what? for it. My my brain hurts. Oh no, not you again, <laughs> Stanley. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. 
No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. <laughs> ah, this is good. New room. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Yes. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Okay. Fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. What? So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? I don't know. And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, Why is it yes? the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. I can't open that door. The confusion ending. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. First restart, Imagine. second restart. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're wow. supposed to restart the game for eight, eight times? No, it's gone after a long time. Stanley and dies. Really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? Where are we up to? goes blank simply because it's written here on this... this oh, we're up to the middle. ...wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. Yeah, with, with that. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped. Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Oh, God. Will someone come for us? This hurts my head. Something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? It's a garbage chair. Not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime. <laughs> Oh, God, my brain hurts. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply... But now where do I go? Am I still in the confusion ending, or am I in a new ending? <laughs> uh, I don't like this game. Do the normal one. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I, I don't know what I do now. I don't know which ending. Can I turn my mic down a little? Yeah, sure. Um, give us a sec. I can turn my mic down a little. There we go. Is that any better? Yep, no worries. Sorry about that. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he so might find an closet. answer there. There's nothing in there. Coming so we to go the staircase, up. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, boss's office is just through here. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any oh, human life. Knock it down. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began while Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single <laughs> minute to just let the narrator talk. That uh, yeah, why? He isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a And few can you use less cuts, some please? Calming new age Sorry. Music. 
Yeah. I if you type exclamation mark specs you can see why I can run all that at once while stream. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. It should be on there. Is community bot even here? There is a command for that. Alright, stop spamming a sec. Uh, let's let's take a look. The bot's dead. Okay guys, uh well basically I have a i seven forty seven seventy K overclocked. Uh GTX seven seventy. Um 16 gig of RAM. I don't know what what else do you need to what else do you need to know? Anyway, um Yeah, we come through here, we go down this lift. Right. And then from here so this is basically the the actual route. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. So we're going to go this way to the escape because Although we haven't been this way. Although had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, <laughs> Stanley would meet his violent death. This hall is too long. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No, we'll, we'll go to our violent death. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yeah, absolutely. Death is fun. Oh, looks like it is death. That's death. Okay, so... Oh, it's not death. Um. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the real picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. <laughs> so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Stop down. See what happens. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, I was, <laughs> was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. What? Oh my god. What is this? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Well, where are we now? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Nature paintings. Do you see now? Stanley's computer. Do you see that Stanley was already dead out. from the moment he hit start? Oh, don't. It's, this is... What? Corridor. Filing cabinets. <laughs> Installation of something. Solitaire. Employee database. There's credits over there. Computers. The office. Button sounds. Credits. This guy here, the narrator, is awesome. So um, now am I in the museum of this whole place? The office. Maintenance room. 
I guess I am. These are screenshots of a Stanley Parable HD remix. More endings, fewer endings, more narrators, fewer narrators, more Stanley, less Stanley. The point of the Stanley Parable is to win. Am I going crazy? Maybe it isn't the same image. What was that clock there before? I don't remember. How did I go back? Can you check for me? Uh, is to lose. Larger words. Uh, uh, process. Greenlit pages only says which is still enough to win the community. Oh, so that's what they put on the green light. Uh, the green light to get green lit, apparently. War zone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up in the battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war, <laughs> would wage war against the narrator. We realised shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game, plus some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. <laughs> oh my god, I like this ending. Um, I don't know if they loop around, so I'm going to go to the other side and climb up those stairs. I'm not sure if they loop around. Let's see what's over here, if anything. Boss's office. Oh, wow. So it kind of looks like in different stages of development. This game is awesome. The office clock. What's down there? Small stairs, but we don't lead to the same place. Do we? Oh, we kind of do. Employee lounge. Underground. An early... Early versions of the underground portion of the game. You see this in... In the demo. Oh, what's that? He's a quiz. They're really quiet. Let's go up to the big stairs. Does that mean this is the best ending? Seems to be the best ending so far. Freedom ending. Yeah, we got that one. Uh, what's it say about it? This is the very first incarnation of a free freedom ending in the game's alpha. Countdown desk. One of the desks from an early version of the countdown ending. We haven't seen the countdown ending. Have we? Did no. What? Another freedom ending. Uh as it existed in beta. Monitor room elevator. Uh for a time the elevator in the monitor room could go up or down with freedom above and count down below. We abandoned this when players found it too difficult to remember what was up and what was down and placed the two endings together instead. Okay. I haven't been in that room. An early version of the countdown room. I haven't seen the countdown ending. I'm sure I haven't. Game design mock up. This is the level that William the level designer sent Davy the writer as a kind of audition piece. The strength of this level got William hired to design the full game. Though much of the environment has changed, the basic layout for this mock-up is still in the game. Stanley's Office. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's Office over time. First was created in Novem November 2011, the second in March 2012, and the third in February 2013. So it's all pretty much the same sort of thing. Oh, as dull as ever. On that one though, he has two monitors. Er, uh, two computers. With three keyboards. Strange. Is 
So it looks like the only place we haven't been is this way to the exit. I don't really want to go to the exit because this place is awesome. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. My brain. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Um... Do I have to actually begin the game again, or...? <laughs> what, what do I do now? Do I wait and see if anything happens, or...? <sighs> My brain hurts. Physically hurts. <laughs> um... Uh, um, it's nothing's happening. Which menu? I I don't know. Let's restart. I guess we'll have to. It doesn't seem like anything else. Quit or restart, Ima. Restart. Yeah. Okay. Right. Back here again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? So Still where haven't we been? Meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We haven't seen the countdown ending. Wait, this is different, isn't it? No, it's not. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Uh, it was already on. I couldn't have done anything. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Right, we haven't been down the here. Staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What's that say? Fire hose. Anything under the stairs? Nope. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his. Well, we need to do all of them, Sam. So. Well, that. try on anyway. In such a competitive economy. Why had he taken that risk? But please try, try no spoilers if you can help it. Vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. One, and two. then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. No, it didn't. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Yeah, I'm but going through the same area. Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. <laughs> were they simply repeating? Yes. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief, Stanley felt, to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, 
I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. <laughs> so, he imagined himself flying and began to gently fly oh. off the ground. God. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun. And but now I don't know where I'm going. That he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stan's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my <laughs> dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Yeah. Good question. While the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And what hey, Kirsch. It all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now hearing the How we do in crush words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain beyond a doubt that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself. I oh, don't surely, know, Crush. Surely, if he could just It's about he Stanley. Would it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. And there's multiple so endings. His gently, and he oh. himself to wake up. Okay. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. That sucks. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Oh, I'm through with this dream. This is I weird. wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. I'm in the same place, I think. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. That one was creepy. If that's the ending. This is the story of a woman named Mary. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. What? But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. <sighs> what? <sighs> These endings, seriously. Right, which way haven't we All been? His co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Right, guys, you you gotta help me out here. I'm getting confused. Which way haven't Stanley I been? Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. 
So where now, left or right? Remember the lift. <laughs> down, we can't go down. Uh, yeah, we've done most of the right ones, from what I can tell. Okay. Oh, yeah, go to the right, and then on the, the cargo lift thing, go across well. there. We haven't been Perhaps across there yet. To stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay. Stanley felt lightheaded. Butterflies in his stomach. Giddy in a way he had. Wait, I haven't heard this before. before. Was it this room? A connection between the two? Could a man love a room? I mean, truly, truly, what? deeply, madly, love. What? I haven't heard that in this room before. <laughs> yes. But eager to get back to business, anyway. Stanley took the first open door on his left. So, it was straight across and then up there we need to go. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. So stay on this lift. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Um, you've been I've been story. down that way, and I someone think there's forgot. nothing down there. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not that looks pretty me. empty. Well, maybe back her. that way. Yeah, we haven't been this way yet, though. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Okay. Remind me about that in a bit, Ima. That's her, Stanley. What? You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. This is like the Matrix now. Sweetie, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about Get your day. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. but you're in my story now. Uh, creepy man. Um, um. This is a very sad story <laughs> about the death of a man named Stanley. Press G on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And everybody <laughs> I'm scared. a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Okay. Press free. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. Yeah. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Uh, five. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. Can I escape? Wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize Watch about what, his TV. job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished. Don't push any buttons, okay. Earth. The thought... Maybe it comes up again. ...terribly. I'm not pressing anything. I feel like I might have to, though. It's not giving me another choice, is it?
I guess I just have to press it. So he went further. He imagined that he came hey, majestic to open doors. How are we doing today? Go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought I can't that his go anywhere. decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it this with is turning into my office and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. What? Tell your kids a I don't have any it kids. It's such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. So yeah, this is possibly be. This is turning In to reality, my office. All he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. God. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Yeah, but am I doing it or not following his instructions? Or, oh God. By not doing it, am I therefore doing it? Oh god. My head. But I feel like I have to do it. Otherwise I can't progress in any way. I think I just have to press it. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same <laughs> as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried to... Never <laughs> <Please> die! <laughs> Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I... Is this another ending where I have to restart myself? No, it's restarted for me. Okay. So right, which way are we going, Ima? All of his co-workers were gone. Left at the first the door. Team. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memory. Maybe. Right, go right immediately. When right then left. Came to a set okay. Two open. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. Just to admire it. So through through here. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps, but eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open. Oh, door through left. through the maintenance room, and, and then so forward. So he through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and but, got back on track. But this sends me back to the Yet office. Not a single person here either. So this is the actual wave of disbelief. ending. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hope coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs okay. to his boss's office. So we'll go to the monitor room. I'm sure there's something else to do there. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Go to the mind control. Uh, mind control is down.
Yeah, he did actually, which made me think I didn't have to input those numbers. So. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. So we go here, we have to press this button to continue. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did no, I didn't. I've already seen it. To find out. Right now, here. Uh, I didn't even notice. Uh, here, the only button to press is that. As far as I can remember. Yep. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. So yeah, this is the original story. I'm a, like the proper story, pretty much this so. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent hmm. his entire life utterly blind to the world but here was the proof the heart of the operation been this way labeled with emotion no, can't go that way happy or sad or content walking eating working all of it monitored and commanded from this very place and as the cold reality of his past began to sink in Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. So am I supposed to do something here? This is a control room. It says something about the control room ending. Doesn't like. Oh, I can go that way now. Okay, so let's go this way. I haven't been up here. Four. Okay, so there's numbers. So I guess I need to push certain numbers. Uh, which button press? Which button pressing? There's a lot of buttons being pressed. There's four and five, so I guess we need to find one, two. There's three. Okay, so. One, two, three is over here, three, four was upstairs, I don't think this is going to do anything but it's worth a shot. Oh, like not a lot happened, it just sent us, it just killed us basically. You couldn't do anything but press the button in in that like apartment building. There was nothing else you could do. Just five. Okay, so that did nothing. Oh, this is a six. Yeah, this is meant to be the countdown one, but I don't know how to initiate it on the wall. That narrows it down, I'm uh, on on which wall? See the code on a wall. Zero. There wasn't a zero, was there? Oh, that that wall. Yeah, it's, I see that now. So we need to find zero. I don't think there was a zero. <laughs> I 
<laughs> uh, could just be the number of the room though, because a lot of the rooms are numbered, aren't they? Um, but maybe just five, two, one. Because there's no zero. Well, by countdown ending, do you need to go five, four, three, two, one? Um, I'm not sure. You know, it might have been. I definitely went under it. Five. Four. Uh, freeze over here. I. It would make sense. Counting down. Three, two, one. That did nothing now. Hmm. I don't see what else to do in this room though. But it's got to be something. Surely. Anyway, in here, I think we can press no instead of yes or something. Big red button. I didn't see a big red button. Um. A on. At last, he found the source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty. Oh, stand me. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, that makes sense, son. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this <laughs> machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating Yay. the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. And now I'll do the five, four, three, two, one. Left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the Maybe. bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them. It's got to be something to do with more these. Time to talk Did that about press? You, about me. Where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. It says 0521 everywhere What's though, that? and then it says 01. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. Uh, free. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna. Oh no, that says green button. We need a green button. Happened to them. I erased. That was incorrect. I turned off uh, the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was incorrect. That was nearly in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell Butch. it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. What? Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone what? inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this. Though. Orange. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense Out of everything. Activate button hint equals orange seventy one. It's quite rich. What? I just hate to see it go, but I'm sure oh, whatever God. I come up with on the next go around will be even better. I don't understand. Goodness, only thirty four seconds left, but I'm enjoying. We need so a blue free you know what? or something. To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't I don't know. Trees. There isn't a blue for you. All oh blues are houses. Stanley. Is it that you have no idea where you're Red. going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? 
Big red button. Re-enter code. I don't know the code. Look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. What's that say? No, these red, red free. This big red button, or this door, everything, anything, something here will save me. Fudge. Why would you think that, Stanley? Fudge. That this video game can be beaten? Fudge. One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in Incorrect. this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving. Oh, on. God. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This isn't but doing anything, though. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But Green and two. Destroyed first, so you Okay. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds. We knocked it up. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. So we need to find how to do this. Oh, there's a door. 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 All a part of the okay, it's not a door. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your It's very shaky. From the moment we fade in until the moment Two. we say... Hold on. Right, so we need to get back here, I'm guessing. But I don't know. Does anyone know what you're meant to do there? Because sometimes it said incorrect All and sometimes it didn't. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Right, so that was. That was all the normal way, pretty much, wasn't it? Of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. And then you go off at the end. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling okay. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. It's weird because there's so much here. Yet it's just all the same game. Here's the door, just go. <laughs> right, and down. I reckon I could do the speedrun on this, like the speedrun achievement. It says complete in 422. If you got down here as quickly as possible and then did off, surely that would be beating the game. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Maybe. This is the shortest ending I know. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What yes, we know. What did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. No, did I didn't. have the strength to find out. Let's go. But I think it might be actually impossible to complete it. The monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. No, unless it's like some wall hacks or something. In the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. <laughs> that was kind of awesome-ish. Yeah. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Let's go. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control never Right, so what was what are you guys thinking Wasn't for it? these cord buttons? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labelled with emotions. Happy or sad. Yeah, some of them. Content, some of them were fired. Working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Yeah, but how do we defuse the nuke? Past began to sink in. So you've got one to turn this on. Oh, Stanley. 
You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself, is that oh, what you want? 0521 means that the buttons on that part no, are relevant Stanley, to you. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. What do you mean? You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly oh, so realized too. he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation. Uh, warning two is here. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear yeah. detonators are set to explode. When the lights go on. Complex. Okay. The detonation then? Monitor here. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun. That monster. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Right, so Shape it now what do I do? Desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb What's this? goes off. But what precious... Press any key. Console what disabled. to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means? I barely know. Where um. To start. Wait. What's that? If we hit three and then the blue button, a moment of solace. That might work. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're free. Anyway, I'll tell you exactly what happened to the blue button. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Oh, do I need three of blue course, buttons? That was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office. That's four mirror, blue pushing buttons, buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground. Wait, that that was turned off. Side, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this though. This burn that was incorrect. Has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you. The it's number, uh, the call of them, the number. See it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. That one's well. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this. So I don't much. understand. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Fail safe. These are Stay precious old. additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume I think that is thunder. That something in this room was You have three attempts remaining. I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little Wait, thing what? in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? Video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out. And to can you actually you not defuse this bomb? You fail. Just you and me and a wretching explosion of fire and metal over and over and over for all of eternity. What's that say? And Stanley died again. Button hint. Died again. Something. Something continue. And Stanley died I don't know. Again. Maybe it just hasn't Take been found yet. Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. I don't know. Oh, don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be last hmm. second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. I'm not sure about that. Okay, so it's not actually defusible. Let's go with that. Then what? What else have I got left to do? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo.
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. 